Hey there, ladies and gents. It is Matt from TentonTable.com answering just a few more questions that we uh, had brought up. This one pertaining specifically to tethering your uh, inflatable units and inflatable slides. So to start off, we're going to take the looped end of your tether, as you can see here, and that's actually going to be what attaches to the unit itself. You can see that they'll actually tie this in a way around the little hook here in the unit. That way you'll be able to tighten or loosen it as you go. The other end is going to get attached to your stake. We're using a rather large stake here, and for some of your bigger units, you're going to need a stake that goes further into the ground to hold it more taut. Make sure you pay attention to the size of the stake you're using, as you may need to call your local call before you dig number. That way you can get in touch with your local utilities to mark up the ground and make sure that you're not going to hit anything underground. Once that's taken care of and you're able to get your stake into the ground, you'll get it down just a little bit before being able to tie your tether around the stake. When you tie your tether, make sure that you end up double looping it. You want to keep it as taut as possible. You don't want your kids to be running around, jumping, hanging out in the slide, and suddenly that tether comes undone and now you're leaning and hanging towards the other side. Once your tether is tied up, you will continue hammering the stake into the ground getting it so that it's just above the ground. You can kind of see here, because we used a double head for the example, that the second head just barely touches the grass. And as an extra bonus, if you have some stake covers, you can throw that over to just kind of hide the fact that you've got a stake sitting there. As we said, a lot of these procedures are small and pretty easy to get through, but we understand that when it's your first time doing it or first time using a unit, you may sometimes second guess yourself or get a little confused, so we always got to make sure that we're not leaving any room for confusion and that everything can go over as smoothly as possible. With any other procedures or things you'd like to see, be sure to let us know as we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time.